How's it going, YouTube? It's your boy, Shaka Antoine. And today, we're going to be talking about none other than four salvo cord. And who doesn't like to fish for four salvo cord? Uh, rather, if you're just starting out or if you've been fishing for, for these fish for a while, uh, you should find this video helpful. Right, because today I'm going to be going over five basic strategies for catching false albacore. All right, now false albacore or albies, as we like to call them for short, uh, they are a fall time fish. Right now, we typically start to see them uh, uh, historically by September 15th here on Long Island, uh, even though um, in the summertime uh, when I'm up in Cape Cod on several occasions uh, they were blitzing uh, when it was determined that the, that particular blitz was albacore you know all of us quickly lost interest because we were keyed in on uh, those cow bass that was that we were catching right so we basically just left them alone it was I was saying even to myself you know I'll I'll catch back up with those things in September right now I'm here for the bass all right um, now I will typically uh, start to fish for stripers in the night uh, but come sunrise it's alby time here on Long Island in the fall um, now what I would like to you know before talking about the strategies um, I would definitely like to at least talk to you about uh, the gear, uh, the gear that I like to use or have a strong preference uh, for fishing for a false albacore. Uh, it's not your typical, I must tell you. Uh, it's quite unconventional. Uh, however, you know, through uh, various strategies that I came up with and just you know what I felt works, uh, this is what I came up with. Uh, the gear I like to use a 10 or an 11 foot rod. That is rated for one to four ounces or two to six ounces. Now, if you're going to use a two to six, uh, you should use a two to six that can cast a one ounce lure with no issues. All right now, for a reel, I like to use a five to six thousand series reel. Um, now, I really prefer bailless. Um, you know to be optimal but if, if not you know um, a, a reel that has a bail is just fine but, you know I, I fish a van stall and I got pretty used to it uh, I only have one currently so I do not use my van stall for uh, albacore and specifically because um, the line which is my next um, subject to talk about here uh, I use 50 pound test line on my van stall 250 L and you know for albacore you need a light line um, i like to use 30 pound test braid as a main all right um for a leader i like to use a three to four foot section of 20 pound test green mono and if you're going to use floral i wouldn't suggest that you go no higher than 25 pound test right now all of that relates to their eyesight these false albacore they have excellent eyesight you will be surprised at how good their eyesight is and how that relates to the line uh, that you should use just as an example uh, one day in uh, 2016 my boy Lou and I were fishing for albies and uh, you know I, I was doing all right I was doing pretty well catching them and um, Lou wasn't doing as well until I decided to ask him uh, Lou, uh, what what kind of line do you have? And I believe his answer was uh, out of 50 or even 65. I can't remember which is uh, the type, but it was up there, you know. And uh, he had about maybe 50 pound test floral. And I said, oh, that's, that's the issue right there, man. So we took a break. You know, we went straight to the tackle shop. He re-spooled up with 30 pound test line and 25 pound uh, test floral. You know, he got some lunch and went right back to it and problem solved. He started catching, he was catching fishes, he was catching albies as well. So that, you know, it's very important to have 
um, light line because their eyesight is uh, very good. All right now, I you like to use a 50 pound test uh, TA clip and small barrel swivels, and I tie that all together with a polymer knot. I do not um, tie direct to my lures or anything that I like to use uh, for albies. And the reason for that is I like the freedom of being able to change up my lures fast. Um, you, know, you don't have to use a uh, specifically a TA clip, but something small and fast. Like they have a bunch of other different types of fast clips, but none of those, um, the other ones that like snaps, but they're a little on the large size. Remember, the eyesight is very good. You want something that's going to blend in well enough with your lure. So for me, uh, I prefer the 50 pound test, which is the smallest TA clip. All right, um, now let me get into the five basic false albacore strategies. All right, the first one is find a spot that has the small bait they like in the dark, All right? At night or, you know, just before sunlight, uh, you want to find the bait then because wherever that bait is in the fall, uh, especially if you're at a known hot spot, uh, the albies will be on them come sunrise or maybe later in the day. Later in that day, it depends. Right? Now, the, number two is going to be pick a spot that gives you a good vantage point to spot them uh, when they break the surface, preferably somewhere that's high um, so that you can see. You, know, you want a good range of sight because you never know specifically what area they're going to pop up in so you want to be able to have a good vantage point all right moving on to number three uh, when they bust you want to cast in that direction even if it's too far just cast trust me uh, because typically there will be more there than you can see uh, but the key thing you want to do is assume you want to be fast with your cast. As soon as you see them bust, cast in that direction. Uh, because oftentimes you will reach those fish that are busted. But like I said, oftentimes as well, uh, there are more uh, albacore there than what you can see. All right. Now, number four, uh, wear polarized sunglasses all right it will help you spot them through the water sometimes you can see them just before they're busting or if they're not busting but they're just cruising or if they're chasing the bait uh, wearing polarized sunglasses will give you a serious advantage at seeing them uh, versus uh, some regular sunglasses trust me it makes a very large difference all right now the fifth would be conditions now that's a given you know you, you we're talking about uh, fishing for these fish in the fall, so you will have your typical fall time conditions. However, uh, albies are a wind driven fish, right? So you want to let them come to you. Okay, now those are the five strategies. Now, the only thing left uh, for us to talk about or for me to show you would be what? Lures, right? Uh, there is a set of lures that I prefer to. Uh, like to use over anything else so let's get into that why don't I show you these ones all right now here are the lures that I like to use and of course they're none else but jigs okay now that top one there is an a17 i have done extremely well with this uh, particular jig here uh, i was able to hook seven uh hook 13 and i landed eight now i believe that i dropped those five uh, because of that right there it was a single hook i believe that if i had a treble hook a small treble hook on uh, pretty much one the same size that comes on the hoagie sand eel there uh, then i would have been able to definitely land uh, all 13. All right now i like to allow uh, my jigs to uh, hit the bottom first right and then i put a, a fast retrieve on it but not a fast enough retrieve for the the jig to just come straight to the surface and start skipping 
the reason for that is I believe that if it hits the bottom and then uh, when I retrieve it and the angle that it, it, it gets back to me is like at an, a, a, a nice 90 degree angle or, or 45 rather 45 degree angle way back to me from where it sat that gives the albacore a, a longer chance at seeing it and they have great eyesight and I found that that method was really key and um, and hooking up as much as I was able to on that one particular trip. Now, um, when they're on smaller bait, it's a good idea to go to that smaller one there, the 007, right? Same retrieve method and uh, the next one there is <clears throat> some sort of minnow plug that I got from a gentleman uh, one day, uh, one trip last season, um, one of the few times that I was on the water and they actually showed um, I didn't have my trusty A17 and all I had was an A27 um, with no tail and these fish will not hit. I only hooked one and that one came off. Uh, it's because they were on bay anchovies at that particular time. Um, time and I just didn't have anything smaller than the A27 which is uh, bigger than that A17 wrong profile right uh, so the gentleman gave me this uh, funny looking minnow and I um, was able to hook one but it came off but you know he was doing way better than I was at that time uh, the next lure that I decided to use for last year uh, last season is this hoagie sand deals. very nice i love the weight it's close to two ounces All right now unfortunately uh when i did have it with me they just did not show uh, and the last jig that i like to use here that's right you are reading this correctly it's an a47 okay now i have been able to catch albacore with an a47 uh, the one that i had was a uh, a hammered um, A47 with a green tail, not the white tail. This one is just what I have at the moment. Right now, when or if for some ungodforeseen reason these jigs are not working, uh, then I will typically go for something else that I came up with. You know, albacore uh, can be very picky at times, especially when it's cloudy. Uh, so it's good to have something else in your arsenal uh, that will perhaps get you, get them to bite. And that, for me, is this setup right here. All right, take a look at that. Okay, now that's an assortment of uh, flies, dressed hooks, and teasers. And that there is a, a A47. Okay. Now I rigged that up the same way that you would rig up a casting egg and I use it the same exact way except uh, I do not hang it on the jig. Um, that leader is long enough and so that uh, it will not tangle in the cast. I have not had one tangle uh, while I cast. Um, and I just will basically fish this slightly slower than... Um, and then the regular jigs there, I just will cast it out there. It will get there because it is four ounces. Uh, that's why I like my rods to be rated up to that four ounce. Okay. And these here have um, have been tied very nice. And, you know, thankfully I haven't had the, haven't had to have used them when I am on the water and they have shown. But this, like I said, this can be fished the same exact way uh, that you fish a casting egg All right now these are the lures that I prefer to use I really dislike uh, using deadly dicks I think they're a little too light uh, but they, they work but just not for me
that wraps up this video. Uh, my five basic uh, strategies for efficient proof loss apple core. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Uh, no matter what level you're at, whether you just started fishing for four saddle core or if you've been doing this quite a long time, I would like to hear from you. Let me know um, what are your strategies, whether if you prefer soft plastic or tins or jigs like I like to use. Um, I'm open to your suggestions and your comments. Okay, now please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Right? And I want you to have a great day and God bless.